That's what I'm talking about, man. I told y'all we got a lot of great people that was coming in today talking to us, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time I get a chance to come into this studio and I talk to these great artists in my city, it's just it's it's just a different type of feeling, man. So we got this last guest of the day. You feel me? I've been seeing a lot of her lately. I, as far as her antics on the internet, her music, then she she got this new lemonade out. So we got a lot to talk about today, man. So for not, I ain't gonna say it like that. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna say it like that. You feel me? But to introduce my girl today, man, it's KB Nini, man. How you doing today? For sure, I'm good. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. So, like I said, for when people new to Fusion Radio, you know, we always like to start off asking them about their name and stuff like that. So, how did you end up coming up with your artist name? Well, my name, Nini. Um, that's just a nickname that my whole family called me ever since I was a kid. Um, KB is Coda Block. It was like um something that me and my friends had made in memory of one of my friends that got killed by the police, Dakota Bright, when he was about 15 years old. So it's just like something I just carry with me. For sure, man, for sure. So, like, when did you really make that move to be like, okay, I want to do music, though, like, I want to be an artist? Um, In 2022. Um, In 2020, I had caught a case, and I was on house arrest for, like, two years. So the music, I was really just something to do while I was in the house just to pass time. And when I got to letting people listen to it and stuff, everybody was telling me, like, I was good and I should take it serious. So when I got off house arrest, um, I was looking for an exit out the street, and the music been that exit. So, For sure, so. for sure. So, like, you being an artist, like, how do you want people to look at you as an artist? Are you just a rapper? Like, like what, what do you nah, want people to look at um, you as? I don't really care what people look at me as, but I consider myself a, in, like a versatile r artist. Um, I try not to put myself in like a drill rap category or pain rap. I just try to keep it versatile and rap about other different things, tap into other different emotions. Okay, okay, okay. So like, you said you basically just started rapping, but you didn't got to a certain point already because, like I said, I stay seeing your name or something, and, like, your name be buzzing, especially when it comes to your music. So it's like, sure. like, just talk about just I, just getting out to that fast start, though, because a lot of people don't get out to a fast start when they uh, get to the music. It wasn't a fast business. start. Um, I've been working at this for two years, so I'm just not starting <laughs> to uh, pick up traction because I start trolling on the Internet. <laughs> But no, I, I've been grinding hard for two years. I did a lot of showcases. I'm locked in with a lot of different producers. Paid a lot of money to open up for a lot of big artists. So I've been grinding for two years. I just didn't have nobody to really show me or teach me the ropes. So I had to just learn everything going. And of course, bump my head a lot, uh, lose a lot of money. And so, just starting to pick up traction. So as an independent artist, where do you see yourself? A upcoming independent artist. Where do you see yourself in a year? I can't say long term because anything can happen from this For time sure. to things like that. Keep it short term, small steps, slow and steady to win the race. Um, for sure. Within a year, I want to hopefully have about like ten thousand followers. I'm halfway there. Um, just have a bigger platform as far as social media. Um, be able to make money from my music. Um. I make money from my lemonade, but to be able to actually make money from my music as far as shows and bookings and stuff like that, I want to at least be that. Okay. Um, what do you, how do you go about um, the behind the scenes uh, when you're in the studio? Like what's my process? My, yes. My um, creative process? Um, I actually got a studio inside of my house because, like I had told y'all, I had started making music while I was on house arrest. So I still got that original studio session that I actually go in and I write my music, uh, get my flow, how, how I want to say everything. And when I feel like I got a good song, I go to the studio with an engineer and I relay it and let it be engineered and stuff like that. So I ain't got to really work on worry about getting in the studio and trying to hurry up and write something before the time run out. Because when you in the studio, you paying for the time. So I'd rather just do all the hard work at home and then come into the studio when I got everything how I need it. Okay. Do you got any um upcoming shows? Yeah, um I'm doing a show January eighteenth. Um I'll be performing for Big Boss Bar Big Boss Damo and Bo Deal birthday bash. Yeah, I heard about that. That been going around social media for a pretty long time. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So. Definitely, man. So 
like when you in them studio sessions though like what certain things that have to be there in order for you to make the best music that you can um like what's the what the vibe gotta be like you feel me oh no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um other than we i just need <laughs> wood <and> myself <laughs> I don't, I don't really like having a lot of people in the studio with me. I prefer it to just be me and my engineer, just because I'd be more comfortable. Um, but no, nah, I don't too much really need anything. So, um, this question I've been knowing to ask. Um, with the generation today, how do you go about um, your music? Do you still go with the same, what the generation likes? as an upcoming artist, or do you try to go a different way and deliver a different message? Because I know you have said that you have got arrested, things like that, in your past. Um, do you use your past to try to change and deliver a message to them? To like, hey, this is not the way to go, this and like that third. Like a positive type yeah. message. Um, I, th I think I do. Um, if you... My music is really like my artistic expression. So that's really how I express myself. But like more so in my content and in my interviews and in my everyday life, I definitely try to spread the word on uh, definitely staying out of trouble, definitely finding something that you like doing and sticking to it, um, not feeling like you have to carry a certain persona or paint a certain narrative that you're a certain type of person because you think this would be cool or you think this is what cloud will come from. Uh, my whole brand is just being yourself, and that's what I do. Um, I just be myself, and the people that can take from it, they take from it, and the ones that can't, hopefully one day they will be able to. For sure, man, for sure. So I want to get into this music that we got from you, you feel me? So we got two songs here. First song is called Unbothered, and then the second song is called Bliss. So what's the song you want to play first here on Future Radio? Uh, we can play Unbothered. Unbothered. So before we get into Unbothered, though, like, just tell us a little bit about Unbothered. Like, what was the message you was trying to give off and, like, why you ended up eventually calling it Unbothered? Um, okay, I wrote Unbothered because it was a lot of controversy going on in my life. <laughs> um, a lot of people was basically just, as you started to pick up traction, people that you know from the past, people that I hadn't spoke to in maybe five to ten years come and just chase a cloud one Puts things on my name, all that just type of stuff, just stuff that come with the territory of evolving. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to let that song be known. I'm not bothered about nothing y'all got going on. I don't care. Living life happily, cool. I love who I love. I love where I'm from, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. So I'm, I'm bothered by all of the bull. That's what I'm talking about, man. So we finna go ahead and get into it, man. It's that Unbothered by KB Nini, man. We'll be right back on Fusion Radio with Brian Stinson and YTS Keys. Never phase me. Yeah, I bang the block, cause the seven block 
braids me. Ain't hang around the ladies. Take a shot for HD. Got it on my own. Ain't nobody come and save me. This is bad to entertain me. She throw me the tail, amaze me. When you mention Nene, can't forget about the KB. You know what's so crazy though? Cause out of all the artists we we listened to today though, like y'all was all different doing y'all own way. Like the first artist we had, bro was rapping and stuff like that, but he had a different type of vibe to his though, you feel me? And then we had the two R and B R and females that came in, then we come in with two. You feel me? What I ain't gonna lie, y'all cold. <laughs> I, I Cause that's one thing I love about actually being a co host on this show. It's like I can to come in and I get to talk to y'all different artists, but y'all be bringing this real great music though because i'm a real lover of music though all different forms of music so when y'all come in here with these bangers i'll be like all right man i gotta step my game up i gotta go a little bit harder it give me motivation i don't know about the other artists in the city like when they hear good music i don't know they probably be hating and stuff like that but i don't know y'all put me on notice tell me i gotta put step my game up so that's what i'm talking about man that's what my girl kb nini and y'all is man so like just based off that song though like it's a certain type of vibe to you, though. Like, you feel me? You coming hard, though. You coming with them bars, though. I like that, so, though. So. so, like, with the bars, though, like, how you go about as far as, like, writing your songs, though? Are you, like, one of those type of people that just write everything or, like, certain songs you write? I write everything. Certain... Oh, you write everything? I write everything. I'm freestyle. No. <laughs> and if I don't like the way if I'm writing it and I record it and I don't like the way it sounds, I delete it and go back and write the whole thing over. Like, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my writing, for sure. If it don't sound right or if it sound cheesy, I gotta go delete that and say something hotter. I don't know. So for I sure. already write my music bye 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 for sure. So with a lot of competition of the hip hop um industry with the females, how do you go about that? I ain't got no competition. I ain't in competition with nobody. If anything, I see us more being um in cl collaboration. A lot of us do a lot of collaborating. I ain't felt no competition. Or I ain't looking at no competition. I don't see nobody but me. I'm in my own lane. I'm doing my own grind. And if we can work together and make something happen, then I'm with that. And if we can't, I'm still with that. We can still be cool. We can still show each other support. But I ain't got no competition. So how do tell me about your lemonade. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I got the Kick-A lemonade available in three different flavors. Strawberry, pineapple, and also regular lemonade. Um, new flavors to be announced soon. Um, yeah, so basically just... Pushing my own brand. Um, I had gotten to a situation where I was supposed to be selling lemonade with somebody, but I got scammed. So I just decided to sell my own. So, like, okay, like, let's even speak on that, though. Not as far as, like, the whole situation that happened before you started to do your own, though, but, like, what made you, like, okay, you was in a situation where that situation went bad. What made you really sit down and be like, I ain't gonna let that discourage me. I ain't gonna stop my process. Um, I'm gonna just come up with my own. Um, basically, I was supposed to receive 100 bottles of lemonade with labels and stuff to promote, but I wind up just receiving 100 empty bottles with no labels. So I was just in my living room looking at 100 empty containers. And instead of me just throwing them away, I was just like, well, I was supposed to be selling lemonade with my <laughs> face on it. I can just make some lemonade and put my face on it. And make up my own brand, and that's what I did. And, um, it's been taking off a whole lot faster than I expected. Man, for sure, man, for sure. So, like, what made you end up calling it that, though, you feel me? Because um, it's kick A lemonade, because when I catch the dude that scared me, I'm going to kick his A. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's <laughs> it's cold doing his own way, though, you feel me? For sure. so, it's, it's so many different ways you can look at that. But yeah, because it mixes like very that, good with um tequila, vodka. It's a very good mixed drink. So it also got a lot of kick to it if you spike it, if that's what you choose to do, adding different um liquors to it. So it definitely have a kick to it if you mix it right, for sure. How, how much it is uh, for a bottle? For one bottle is $15. Um, For two bottles, it's better to buy two for 25 so you can save. Um, also, on my bottle, I have my QR code where you can scan and all my music and latest content pop That's up. That's what's up. For sure. That's what's up. Good good creativity on that. Um, I wish you the best on your future, on your lemonade. Um, um, as an artist, because there's a lot of young women out here do not, you know what I'm saying, they just do it just to do it. You have a business. For sure. You want to say, um, being a business owner is not easy. 
I am because I am a business owner of actually four, four businesses. So, um, I it's a it's a rodeo, you know what I'm saying. So I tell new business owners just like this, like, hey, if you can't handle the pressure, it's not for you. Because well, actually, it just seemed like it's falling in my lap. I mean, go. I never really intended. Like I said, this was just supposed to be me helping, like a brand deal, yes. like me collaborating with a lemonade brand. So it was never really my thought, like my business idea, but I just took a chance on it, and man, it's just been going crazy. So I just feel like it's God's plan. I'm just right, you took it being out my mouth. I'm just letting it go how it go. If it go bad, it was never a start. I yep. mean, it was never an idea for it to be. But it, it just seemed like it's just going real good. So it's like, it's it's great. Yeah, whatever. It, it might not, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, though, it wasn't your plan, but it was in God's plan. Exactly. God, you know what I'm saying? God put that in there for a reason. For sure. To keep you going, keep you motivated, and, like, do something that you like. I agree. So. For sure. Well, even though my boy Brandon didn't get on the mic with us, you feel me, on the radio, because he's sick today, he don't really feel so good, but... I ain't gonna lie, Brian, we might have to get some of that lemonade, you feel me? Because you said it's a chaser, basically. Like, you could use it as a chaser, you know? What you want to celebrate with? Because, you know, today's the first day. Of, <laughs> you know, today the first show of the year. We got to celebrate or something. What you want to drink? You want a pint or something? <laughs> a fish or something? You, I, on me, I got you. Whatever you want to drink. She says it's good with tequila. What type of tequila you like? That's it. Oh, yeah. oh it's already... Oh, it's... Oh, see, we already in the, oh. in the game, Tyler. Don't worry about it. We in the game already, That's what I'm talking about. We gonna celebrate after this, man. So, back to the music though. Back so. to the music on a serious tip though. So like, what you just starting though, like, and you didn't got so far, and like you getting, like you said, you starting to pick up the traction as far as your music and stuff. What certain things that you want to do in these next couple months as far as getting your name bigger and bigger in the city? Um, I definitely want to start doing uh, skits with like the upcoming comedians. Um, I just did. A couple of skits with um, a content created by the name of Shoe on my head. We just made some real dope, funny content. So um, I definitely want to get into that because um, I see that the my fans they really like my personality and like you say my antics. <laughs> so I just want to incorporate that into the music and to also uh, my lemonade. For sure, for sure. So like, okay, it's it's so crazy though, cause like I like I told the, um one of the females earlier and stuff when we was talking, it's a lot of females that's coming out the woodworks that's making music though, and it's not even so much like y'all coming out the woodworks and y'all garbage, like y'all actually got talent though. Yeah. Like for example, I, if I'm not mistaken, just before we, um, we got here early, I think I seen a video with you and Blaze in it and Amari Blaze. Yeah, and stuff I just like linked that. up with them yesterday. They tried my lemonade. They definitely like it. So, like, uh, outside of them, because I know y'all probably already locked in, probably talked about doing songs and stuff like that. What's some other females in the city that you are um, planning on working with and doing business with? Um, I ain't really talked about business with nobody or making music. I want all that to pretty much co come organically. For the most part, I'm just um, just building relationships, just meeting other artists, letting them see that I ain't trying to chase your name for clout. I ain't trying to do no weird stuff. I'm just me. Um just being cool and just supporting. And if that leads into a song or a business, I'm open for it. But for the most part, I'm just just trying to show everybody that we, we all in this together. And it is enough room for everybody. We ain't got to compete. We ain't got to be like crabs in a barrel. Everybody can uplift everybody. And from every other female artist I met, which I met a lot, from the biggest to some of the more just coming out, and everybody pretty much had the same, same word about them. Everybody seemed like they just... We all just glad that we finally been took it serious. So instead of us trying to tear each other down when we got everybody else trying to tear us down, we just choose to stick together. For sure. Hey, yo, turn it up. Broadcasting live from the Illinois Institute of Technology. We got you locked into Fusion Radio, 88.9 FM. That's what I'm talking about, man. You definitely can't tear these sisters down, man. Because it's, it's a lot of y'all, though. Like, it seemed like every other day, somebody new come out the woods. It, it's not even so much thing, as somebody new. Because like I said, with me, it seemed like I just came out the woodworks. <laughs> and I've been grinding for two years. So a lot of females actually been grinding and been putting a lot of work in. Nobody just never took us serious. Like, 
when you a good rapper, it don't be all she a good rapper. It be all she good to be a female. Like it always gotta be, or it, it's just, it's, I just feel like it's harder being a female artist and being taken serious. So you had a lot of females that was working and now that it's a like a trend for female artists, it's easier for female artists to get attention opposed to three, four years ago when nobody really checking for us. So now that everybody's checking for us, it's just more females coming out like, hey, I'm raw too. But if you look at their track record, they've been raw for two years. They just couldn't get no attention. So I think more so of us coming out the woodworks, I think we just now starting to get the attention. Oh, no, for sure. Because I ain't going to lie to you. Like I said, y'all been putting like us on notice, though. Because like, it's not even just, like I said, y'all just, I like you said, y'all getting the notoriety and stuff now. And like, but y'all actually good, though. Yeah. Like, the music actually sound like something. And it's not just like, okay, shorty look good. She got a decent body. So, yeah, she only getting views because she look no. You might it look good, hot. but the song actually sound like something, too, though. You feel me? It's so, true. that's, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Big shout out to everybody. I think with that. the females, um, I think we just got tired of hearing the mumble rap and the drug rap and the... <laughs> And they gotta kill everybody. And some females do rap about that. Some females rap about drill. But I'm more I feel like more with females is more of a artistic expression opposed to the with the male rappers. It's something that they feel like they have to live and something they have to be. If I rap about killing people, I actually gotta kill people. With females it's more so <laughs> I can rap about killing people and then when you do something to me, I can press charges and get a pass because I'm a female. So it's just a different it's just different. But females, I feel like um we ain't got to crash out to be heard. <laughs> Man, because it definitely seems like sometimes a lot of people be out here crashing out just to be seen sure. and be heard. For sure. And then a lot of females, like, we lyrical because most females are smart, like, and as far as intellect sure. and just being able to have a big vocabulary and knowing what words mean, what words go into certain... Mm, just just being able to make it make sense. I think females got that good. And I think that's just come with us naturally in life. For sure. So, I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't so, lie. Yeah, so, uh, what do you gotta tell your fans that actually listen to the station? Um... We going up, baby. 2024, <laughs> we is going up like the Jeffersons. If you tuned in, stay tuned in. Because, yeah, it's getting big. It's getting large. We're going up for sure. For sure, man. And I love everybody who love me. So talk about some more about this 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 song that you uh, we about to listen to. It's what, Breeze? Blitz. Blitz. Yeah, Blitz. Actually, Blitz was actually one of my very first songs. It was actually the first song that I had ever recorded in a real studio. Um, it was one of my songs that I had made while I was on house arrest. I had some movement, so I had linked up with a producer, uh, mixed by a DJ, and that was my first time in the real studio. So this is like a historical moment for me in music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you uh, worked with, uh, how many, like, name the producer that you have worked with, uh, how do you go about getting your beat? Um, I've like worked that. with a lot of producers. I actually have an app called BeatStar where you can work directly with the producers where you can actually get the beat, you can get the license and everything. Um, get your contracts, you do everything through one app. So it's like a business and it gets a network with other producers opposed to just the ones that's following me on social media. It might be a producer that I never met and he never met me, but I hear his beat. I want to do this, I pay for it, I buy the proper lease, they got it where you can choose which lease you want to pay for and mm -hmm. then from that as far as registering we just split everything down as far as like um ASCAP BMI take care of the business part of it but I've worked with a lot of um producers my production team that I usually work with as far as engineering videos um everything it's I and team and I also have my own videographer in um, Chicago that I pretty much try to stay consistent with so um as far as producers and beats, I pretty much kind of open to working with anybody. But as far as my own production team, I pretty much try to keep it in house. Cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Like I said, we had a lot of great people come in and talk to us today, man. We had four excellent artists that came here. They shared their great music. They shared their stories. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what we do here at Fusion Radio. We all about putting on for y'all, uh, y'all artists in our city. You feel me? If anything, we want y'all to make it more than we want ourselves to make it. Feel me? So, just before we get up out of here and we listen to this last song, Blitz, you feel me? 
just getting people on your social medias and stuff so they could tune into your music and they could come by some of that good lemonade too. For sure. You can hit me up through the DM. I'm on Instagram, KBNene underscore. That's K B N E N E underscore. Also on Facebook, Facebook as Code of Block Nene. That's K O T A B L O C K N E N E. Um, I upload content sometimes on TikTok. Also Code of Block Nene. Um, you can hit me up on, through my email. Um, all that's available on my Instagram bio. Um, my the link tree if you want to pull up all my music it'll take you it'll take you to all the freestyles that i got on youtube though it's on several different pages some of them one link will take you to all of them so that's the same link that you could pull up on my lemonade when you scan my qr code it should take you to the link in my bio so you can pull up my content so yeah the best way to reach me is through instagram dm soon i have a website i'm just starting the lemonades trying to get them off the ground so Soon I have a website and business cards where I'll be able where you'll be able to go online and order through the website. That's but right now, up. just hit my DM. I'm pulling up. Sure, sure. That's what I'm talking about, man. We definitely had a great show today, man. I had my boy DJ Two Times with me filling in for my boy Brian Stinson. You know, today was the first show of the year, man. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. This this ain't we did our thing today, man. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed talking to y'all great artists. Today, I gotta man. get back in tune, man. We definitely do, man. <laughs> we definitely gotta stay in yeah. tune, man. So, we finna go ahead and get into this last song, man. Y'all just stay up and y'all stay safe, man. And definitely stay tuned to Monday morning, man, when we put out that Artist of the Week, man. It's your boy, YTS Keys. We signing out for Fusion Radio with Brian Stinson and YTS Keys. Oh, gee, I think we If I shoot this top, I won't miss. Boy, you bliss. Thought this bitch was lawyer, she do it, she dismiss. Blow this horse, if one knee like I'm trying to blow a kiss. This bitch got kicked, turn him to gris. Walk with my provolone and Swiss. Love and money, it don't mix. I let you slap, but you ain't slick. Go ahead and slide. I got my blitz. I'm outside, I got my stick. It empty quick. No jam, no glitz. I like came with a Swiss. That's lighting the wish. What's new? We're gonna dead make this bitch. He never stood after him. Devastated, make glitz. Yeah, we're gonna lose my phone. It's ending, no passes. Put them boys on they aces. Cause again, starving, they faster. Put his innocence in the casket. Dust the dust, ask the ashes. Leave his head through some maggots. Send his head in the packet. Bullets burn like some acid. They don't know if they ask. And if I up it, I'm blasting. Ain't no race, I'm the fastest. Getting money, I have it. Send my boys in the herd. They come through with a grudge. Shooting 30s like curd. Heavy stepping for fudge. Mention his name, we said slugs. We got all this shit the mud. Go out, won't cause I'm plugged. Relate to killers and thugs. Where we from, it get rough. What shorty's gunning for bucks? What they don't give up for now is you stepping the what? If I shoot this top, I won't miss. Boy, you blitz. Thought this was if lawyer, she do it, she dismiss. Blow this tip from one knee like I'm trying to blow a kiss. This tip got kicked, turn him to rough circle with my provolone and Swiss. Love and money, it don't mix. I let you slide, but you ain't slick. Go ahead and slide. I got my blick. I'm outside. I got my stick. It empty quick. No jam, no glitch. Like came with a Swiss. That's like no wish. Swiss couldn't play great. Dead name this been Seven stood after him. Devastating. Yeah, that's it. Remember, it's in the whole world. No tipping that tip. In the block a few times, I'm flipping that block. I'm Let's cut off. Can't kick it. Look, tip. Seven block. Nini, I'm with it. Look, tip. My memory is vivid. It's seven. I can remember y'all who said with blip from a block away. You an your clip, but face to face, you ain't letting it issue. Never call Twitter, it'll drop your low. I ain't even got a mention how the street cold go. Technical foul on the shoe solo, separated from the cross slide and dolo. He's gonna be had Marco Polo, been a block behind tent, trying to find Nemo. You wanna go to war, just let me know. Ain't ducking no accent, they free smoke. Shoot this top, I won't miss. Boy, you blitz. Thought this was a blow, you see, it would she dismiss. Blow this boy, it one knee like I'm trying to blow a kiss. If this guy kicked, turn him to group up with my provolone and Swiss. Love and money, it don't mix. I let you slap, but you ain't slick. Go ahead and slide. I got my blick. I'm outside. I got my stick. It empty quick. No jam, no glitz. I came with a Swiss. That's like no wish. Swiss play play great. Detonating this man's hip. It stood after him. That was it. That's your room. We can lose my phone. It's in it.